this point, the market broke out to the downside, so it's a trending trading range day. And the market should form a lower range. Normally, the first push down is not the bottom. Uh, and normally, eventually, it comes back and tests the breakout. Uh, sometimes it breaks back into the upper range and then trades uh, sometimes all the way to the top of the upper range. Uh, 45 is a inside bar, so you can argue, oh, no one short after a strong uh, sell-off. Uh, yes, except that um, this is a, probably going to be a weak uh, bear trend day. Uh, there are several areas of support below. Uh, the market held in an upper range for uh, three hours. Uh, it's probably the weakest trend, uh, trend day is the trending trading range day. So I'm assuming this is a trending trading range day. Probably will have some kind of measured move relative to the upper uh, trading range, and we're in the area of some uh, measured move. Uh, so to me, I'm not shorting a low one at the bottom of a trading range. And in fact, uh, after five trend, uh, trend bars down, um, I'm buying and um, I did end up uh, buying down here. 47, uh, a bull reversal bar uh, on a trending trading range day. So it's basically the second entry long at the bottom of a trading range. So I think that is an okay. Uh, four bars up uh, to the moving average. Uh, maybe a low two short. 46 is the low one. Uh, 51 is the low two. I don't remember if I took it. I took a whole bunch of little trades today. And, some I scalped out, others I held. I think I only took one swing trade today. Um, that was the uh, first one below uh, 8 and 9. Okay, so uh, back here to 51. Uh, the short looks like 5 tick failure to a higher low. To me, I think it's hard to buy above uh, bars when we're in a trending trading range. Uh, I'd rather look to short above bars, short above strong bars, short above swing highs, short above the moving average short a breakout test, you know, just look for any reason to short. Possible wedge uh, bear flag here, 46 is the first push up, and then 50, and uh, 55, decent bear uh, uh, reversal bar at the moving average, so it's probably an okay short. Uh, the risk is we've had two decent uh, spikes up, uh, 47 to 50, and then again 54, but I think it's probably okay. Uh, double bottom uh, with 54 and 58. Um, is that a good buy? You know, I mentioned that um, if you bought a tick or two above the bottom, it would be okay. But as far as buying the um, above the dojis, I think it's risky because the market could form a head and shoulders top uh, bear flag and uh, you'll get trapped. Market didn't care and went up for about five bars. Uh, again, you could argue either expanding triangle. I know 58 is not below 54, but it's close enough. Uh, you could also argue three pushes up, uh, but my problem is you get six bars here without a um, a bare body, so I don't want to short the first time down. I think 64 is really interesting. Um, you know, it's a possible failed wedge. Um, uh, to me, it's another one of those large signal bars at the moving average, uh, and most of the time those are bare traps. Whenever you have a, a very large signal bar at the um, moving average forcing you to buy at the top, um, you know, too often it's a bear trap, so I did not buy there. Um, 65, I thought it was uh, 65, 66, I think was interesting. Um, you know, it's a second entry on the wedge uh, bear flag. Uh, it's a bear signal bar, so it might be an okay short, and it turned out to be an okay short. Um, 60, uh, uh, 70, a bear inside bar, a low one. Uh, but to me, I see two pushes down at 64 and 69. Uh, this could be a false breakout of the bear flag from 46 up to uh, 66 or so. Um, so there's no way I'm going to short that. Uh, I'm not shorting a low one uh, in the middle of a trading range. I only short low ones at the bottom of uh, strong bear spikes, and this is not the bottom of a strong bear spike. So since I think it's going to fail, I think it's okay to buy below. 72, uh, low two short. Uh, in the middle of a trading range, uh, big tails, barbed wire, I think it should fail. And I think it makes more sense to buy um, below the low than to short down there. Market reversed up, 74. This is one of those trades that I should have taken. The failed low two um, um, and uh, failed breakout of a bear flag. Um, you can also argue it's a breakout pullback from uh, the earlier uh, bear channel. 
um, down to uh, 46. Uh, the market then broke out to uh, you know, the 62 area, and this could be the higher low breakout pullback or more up. I thought uh, there were two good magnets. One was the low of the lower trading range. We never got to it. And the other was the open of the day. Trading range days that have tails on the top and on the bottom um, usually try to test the open of the day. So I thought there was a pretty good chance the market would go up there. Uh, and I did not buy above 74, and I should have. But a lot of times I get uh, tired at the end of the day, and uh, uh, I stop trading. Uh, pretty good bull spike up to 76. Um, possible wedge uh, bear flag, but too much momentum on that spike up. So I think there probably would be buyers below um, 76 more than there would be shorts. And um, that's the end of the day. Everyone knows there's a big report on Friday, um, so you know we may go sideways into Friday. We still have a little bit of room up to the May uh, crash uh, pullback. Apple is still trying to get up to 300 before it corrects, and I think a lot of the high flyers are starting to turn down, which I think is interesting. This price line that could easily come down to the 280 area. Netflix looks like it could easily come down to uh, 140, maybe down to 120. These are stocks that have been so strong. Uh, Las Vegas Sands looks like it's also trying to come down. First target would be 34. Next target would be the bottom of um, this final flag down here in the 32, 31 area. Network appliances, uh, possible double top. Uh, take it down to the breakout point around 45 or so. Gold. Gold is obviously going parabolic. Maybe it'll get a measured move up from this trading range. And uh, so we're pretty close to a measured move target up there. Euro uh, also is uh, obviously way overdone. But, um, you know, this is very, very strong. And I definitely wouldn't short it, even though I think we're far from the moving average and it will pull back. Markets don't stay away from moving averages forever. And this is a very long time without a pullback. Um, we're back up into this trading range area from earlier, uh, but you know some markets I would uh, short, some I wouldn't. This is one where it's just too steep a channel for me to be shorting, but I wouldn't be surprised if we have a uh, violent reversal on um, Friday. Okay, tomorrow you know, we got this trading range. Um, there's still an upside target on the daily chart. Um, 60-minute chart looks like um, it's having a breakout pullback and it wants to do one more push up, maybe get above that trend channel line. Um, as you can tell from what I'm saying, I think the market is going down um, after the report. I think the odds favor it. But um, if it instead goes up, that's fine too. I don't care. Um, you know, just you know, I'm a day trader. The big picture stuff is intellectually interesting. Uh, and I do trade options on 60-minute uh, charts and on daily charts, uh, but as far as uh, you know, placing uh, you know, regu you know, just regular trades. I'm not, I'm not placing. Um, I'm not going long or going short on uh, the daily chart. And uh, sometimes the daily chart will give me uh, information. You know, if if I think the daily chart is in a trading range. Um, what do I think today is going to be? I think it's going to be a trading range day, probably, because normally, you know, the market has inertia. If it's in a trading range, it tends to stay in a trading range. If it's in a trend, it tends to stay in a trend. So, in that sense, the daily chart is helpful. But back to this, you know, it's a bull channel, so it's a bear flag going into tomorrow. I'm assuming that tomorrow will be a trading range day. But uh, if it's not, you know, I'll trade it. If it's a trend day, I'll trade it. Look at uh, past couple of days, you know, strong up move and sideways. So um, what do you think the next move will be, uh, up or down? You know, sideways is um, a uh, flag, and the leg up to it was going up, so it's a bull. And so I think this whole uh, five-minute chart over the past few days as a uh, bull flag, so the odds favor uh, an upside breakout in my mind. All right, I hope everybody has a good night.